Hey guys, James coming at you from Carson Fart. So today we're going to put on a plum quick motor on a club car precedent and the motor is seized to the rear end. So I'm going to show you a little uh, trick that I used and actually learned from the guys over at plum quick how to do it. But uh, this is your standard uh, six inch lift uh, club car precedent. So this is, may sound like it's going to be a lot of work, but it's not as much as you think it is but we're going to have to take the rear end all the way off the golf cart to get it out without damage in the motor. So uh, we're going to take that factory motor off. It's running fine. I don't want to damage it because it can still be rebuilt or reused. And we're going to install a plum quick bandit. So uh, let me go and get this thing. Uh, and and I, you guys know, if you follow the channel, I do this with one hand. So some of this stuff, I may try to find me a tripod where I can put it on there. But uh, first thing I want to do is I want to jack it up, put it on jack stands. All right, guys. So as I got started, lifted it up, I secured the jack stands in front of this leaf spring perch. Make sure it's safe. Um, got your wheels out the way. Disconnect both the main positive and the main negative cables. Get that out the way. Um, and this cart did come from the coast, and you can tell by some of the rust that you'll see on some of the hardware. So I sprayed everything down these... Uh, bolts for the leaf springs, also the shocks. I sprayed all that down with WD-40. Um, I don't think I'm gonna have to spray down the motor bolts, but we'll get to that. And hopefully none of this stuff breaks when I start taking it down. So now that I've got the uh, everything secure, my next step is gonna be to unplug my speed sensor here. And there's gonna be four wires. And normally it's a orange and a green one on the, the top one here. And on the front one, it's usually white and blue. So as we drop this rear end down, we're gonna take those studs loose and let's see what we can do. All right, guys, so it was actually pretty easy. I just went and took the speed sensor off and the cables. So the harness is laying on the ground. What I did do is I started to take off this shock bolt and it is rusted on there. So um, I am going to leave that on there on this top plate here and I'm just gonna take this U-bolt loose. So I'm crossing my fingers, they don't snap. Like I said, it is from the beach. Anytime you mess with something around salt, you're gonna have an issue. But if I can take that loose and also these rear bolts to the uh, leaf springs, and hopefully the leaf spring is just laid down, I can zip the bolts off after I do that. So uh, anyway, let me jump into it. All right, it. I got one side off and it fought me a little bit because like I said, they are beach carts. One other thing that you're going to need to do is disconnect both brake cables. I've already disconnected that one over there, but that's real super simple. I mean, if you've worked on these golf carts or you're going to tackle this, you'll know how easy that is. Take that pin out, push it up, and then just leave it attached to this little bracket because those are bears to get off. But uh, now I'm gonna take this loose. This motor may roll forward and we'll find out. Sorry about the noise. I got a couple of little uh, grandkids around here while we're working on this cart. But hey, what kind of cool dad does not work on his carts while his kids play, right? So anyway, so let's jump back on this. So once we take that cable loose, this motor may roll forward a little bit. So I'm gonna loosen this up kind of easy and then I'm going to lower the uh i've already taken these these uh, bolts out they came out pretty good and then i'm gonna lower the leaf springs hey guys so it, it did drop down i just kind of relaxed it me by myself it's a lot easier two people i uh, relaxed the jack and i just kind of balanced the motor and then laid it down to find out i really didn't need to loosen these bolts uh it slid right off but uh the plan was for it to be attached to the leaf spring so i didn't have to balance it but balancing was not that difficult so now i need to drag the whole assembly right, now they got the rear end out what I did was I took the three 7 16 bolts and I just backed them out to leave a little bit of space. And what I'm going to do now is to take this drum, I'm gonna flip it over backwards, and I've got a couple of, uh, I guess, uh, open-end lug nuts, and I'm actually gonna screw this drum on backwards, and you'll see why. So you can see how I just screwed that drum on backwards. Now we're gonna pick, I'm gonna to try to find my tripod. We're gonna pick the whole rear end up and I'm gonna drop it on something. And the reason you put the drum on backwards, you don't wanna damage the uh, wheel studs. Okay, guys, got my tripod out. So the next step, I'm gonna pick this up and I'm gonna drop it until this motor comes and takes up that slack of the bolts that I left. So let's do that. I do have a piece of cardboard. So let's see what happens. Didn't do it. 
Not yet. There it is, it's loose. So now I'll just lay it down gently. Probably a little more gently than that, guys. You can see that it is off. So you can kind of see what some of that uh, salt air corrosion looked like. Um, but believe it or not, I'm gonna send that motor off to Plum Quick. They'll rebuild it. It'll be as good as new. They powder coat the uh, cases and everything, the cans. So uh, assembling this thing is a lot easier with two people uh, rather than taking it off. So I need to take that drum off, flip it back around properly, and uh, that's how you get a stuck motor off. So anyway. All right, guys, I got the rear end in, and now the next step is to put the plum quick motor in there. So uh, just see some, I'm not going to go over that, but just see some other videos. I can show you some before and after specs on the plum quick on the club cars. But uh, yeah, everything went back together fine. So anyway, don't forget, I'm your authorized eco battery dealer. I also generally keep a good bit of plum quicks in inventory. So uh, if I can help you out on that, please uh, give me a call. Uh, give me an email, see my website. Um, also, uh, if there's any other helpful tips that I run across that helps you out, be sure to click like and subscribe. So anyway, got my dirty hands. But uh, thanks again for tuning in, and uh, hopefully you don't have this problem. But if you did, I'm hoping this video helps. All right, you guys have a good one.